हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम बैक टू द मल्टी मैजिक चैनल टूडे इज सेशन फोर ऑन वीडियो बेसिक सीरीज सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल कवर एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक लेट से इफ यू हैव सेट ऑफ इमेजेस लेट से यू हैव फाइव इमेजेस एंड यू वांट टू प्ले ईच इमेज वन बाय वन इन इन ए फॉर्म ऑफ अ वीडियो सो इन अदर वर्ड्स इफ यू वी इन दिस सेशन वी विल कन्वर्ट ए सेट ऑफ इमेजेस इनटू एन एमपी फोर फाइल so where that mp4 file if you play that video each image plays one by one automatically so we will start seeing looking at the code and some kind of flow chart how to convert this so let's start on that note yeah this is the basic flow diagram how the raw images are converted into mp4 so here we need some set of ffmpeg initializations allocate memories like for av format context av codec context av codec av stream so all these are different structures defined in ffmpeg and we need to populate all these structures so in order to populate first we need to allocate memories and in the process of preparing video encoder uh, in the sense like you want to how our mp4 file should look like how our mp4 format should look like what is the width of it what is the height of it what is the bit rate like that lot of properties we will define for our mp4 file how our output should look like and finally we also need to open the output file readily so all these kind of initializations are needed before we actually starting start processing the frames like we need to initialize the ffmpeg we need to define all the encoder properties and we need to open the output file and ensure what whenever as soon as the frame is available we will compress and write it into the file so when coming to the process actually so as we discussed in the last video if we have one single rgb image we can convert that into a yuv data so the same way now we have we will convert each image into yuv so this is a buffer so y plane u plane and v plane so in this buffer all the data is stored of that particular rgb image okay so this is the uncompressed data or the raw data y plane u plane and v plane so all this data is dumped into av frame structure and in it is stored in this particular pointer called data so now this data pointer is pointing to this yuv i mean all the all this buffer and then for av frame you have this format you need to define the format like yuv 420p and width is 640 height is 360 and uh, so like all these parameters you need to define so you need to allocate a frame and then you need to define these properties and then you need to dump this data into this data structure of the av frame So while going through the code walk through, I will show you each and everything what is happening. And now you have the AV frame ready for a specific YUV for a specific RGB image. So now you just keep sending this frame, and and remember while sending the frame, we need to increment the frame present time stamp. And now this frame is sent. And now AV receive packet runs in another thread. So this runs in one thread. and av codec receive packet runs in other thread so as soon as this sends this receives the compressed packet and this compressed packet is written into the mp4 file and the same thing happens for each image so let's say i have given five images for the first iteration this image is converted to yuv plane and then to uh, yuv data is dumped into av frame and av frame info is going to send frame and then receive packet and write it so this is the typical flow diagram how to convert a raw images to mp4 so now same thing we will look from the code perspective so let me quickly go through the code here yeah this is my code actually so if you if you see here so this is my project uh, uh, images to mp4.cpp i have a specific cmake folder which builds this particular file and then inside the build folder the executable will be there so now let's see one by one what is happening as we discuss so as i said uh 
the first step is you need to do the FFmpeg initialization okay so as a part of this FFmpeg initialization so first we need to allocate the memories so this is uh, so these are the basic data structures we will be using AV format, AV codec, AV codec, AV stream and this is the output pixel format we are converting the RGB to a UV 420p so now we will be populating all these structures in the during FFmpeg initialization which are needed for encoding so uh, here I am allocating memory for this and uh, here it is based upon the output file so I am just allocating the memory and I am allocating memory for stream and now I am finding the encoder so now here I am uh, the, for, the code, video codec I picked for encoding is AV codec ID H264 this is one of the very popular video codec format and I will be using this for this particular project and now I will be allocating for a codec context so as you can see I'm just allocating memories and now these are very key parameters so here I am defining how my encoder should behave or how my mp4 format should look like so these are all the encoder properties which we need to define must since it is h.264 I am defining this AV option set as preset and slow and this my height is the height of the frame and width is width of the frame and this is the output pixel format so the height and width I already defined here 640 and 360 so now here this is the constant bitrate it is 40,000 and I am this is very important time base so we you are attaching a timestamp to it telling that you are having 25 frames so my, it can support 25 frames actually for one second it will get 25 frames and the max B frames is one you, as we already seen in the last between last last video like what is B frames how it is important so to make compression bit simpler I'm putting max B frames and one and this GOP size is a gap between the frames I'm uh, I'm not exactly sure on this parameter but yeah it is between the iframes how much gap we should leave this is about the so these are the basic parameters I took how my encoder should behave okay so now you open the output codec context video so it, and then you open the you copy all the parameters of this context video to the stream and then you open the output file format and then you write the header so as I, as I mentioned in these slides here so I am just making everything ready here so uh, like uh, all these things is done so the next thing is we will see how to dump this RGB to a UV plane and from my UV how to so we will see from the code point of view how this block is done okay so now the next thing is so let's go to the main function yes okay my bad okay okay so inside the main function as I seen here as I mentioned here so first these are the FFMP initialization is done so I have selected four images so all these images are coming from the mp4 file so we extracted those frames and I selected just four frames from that mp4 file and then now, now I am iterating these images and I, and I am converting this each image into a UV data so this is already covered in the last week so how to convert an RGB image into the uh, YUV data so it's simple that you just read that rgb file and then you rescale the context from rgb to yuv and then again you uh, get the response one in the scaling so and finally you store the data into the out planes which is like yuv planes and you write this is an optional step where you can write our yuv data into file but currently the yuv data is inside this out planes actually it is actually here in the out planes the yuv data okay so now the next step is we need to dump this yuv into av frame so before dumping i have a two function overloading so first we will be calling this frame and which image to show so as i mentioned i am storing i have a vector of out planes so for each image i am storing 
for four images there are four out planes okay so for one image you are storing in one output planes and for next image in output planes like that i have a vector of output planes and this so for this image i pull this <laughs> a required out planes and now i am calling this again dump by uv 420p so here actual dumping process starts so as i mentioned before dumping this yu this yuv data which is inside this buffer out underscore planes for a specific image i am defining the frame properties here and then i am just copying this whatever information in the out planes to the frame data based upon the width and height and outline sizes so like that you need to dump the yuv data into the av frame so for each image, I am doing the same thing. As you can see here, I am just running a for <coughs> loop here, and then I am converting each image, and each image has its own YUV data stored in the out planes, and that I am dumping it into the frame. So now the actual process starts. So you have you have dumped all the yeah. So here we converted to YUV, and here we have dumped all the images data into the into the frames so here as you can see here after dumping the yuv data into frame i am incrementing the frame pointer here so yeah you can see here yeah see and i am incrementing my frame present timestamp this is very much important it means like it, it tells how many number of frames and 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 at which point i need to present that frame in the actual video so, so you need to have that value so now here i have chosen a timestamp here so now i have a frame and in that i have dumped that frame here and then and then i am telling when to when to show that frame onto the screen so i have incremented the pointer so first so for first few packets or first few frames are ignored so that is the reason if i is less than 43 it is a bit hard coded actually but down the line we will try to uh, give some values so the thing here is this we are this is a 5 seconds video so in that 5 seconds video each second a particular image is shown okay so each image is shown for every one second so each it, it means like all the 25 frames in that in that particular second same image is shown so that's the reason i have took this gap as 25 so in so it's 43 28 93 68 so so there is a so for each 25 frames this is for each second so for each second we will be showing 25 frames and the image to show is this for the first iteration why we took 43 is because there will be few images will be few frames will be ignored that is the reason we took as 43 so for first five seconds i want this particular image and for next five next one second i need this particular image and next one second i need this so next one second each second will be having 25 frames so now once dumping i will i will just immediately send this to av codec send frame as I mentioned in the block diagram, so this is the key step. So a uh, AV codec send frame and AV codec receive frame. So now I am sending my frame, and then here it will the packet. I will be allocating the packet here, and then I will be receiving this. So whatever this raw frame is now compressed, and then this compressed packet is stored here. AV receive packet. So I am printing the packet details also here. So what is the packet present timestamp, DTS size, or those things I am printing. And then finally, I am writing that packet into an MP4 file. Okay, so indirectly here, what we are doing is one image. So we have one image. So let's say we have one RGB image. So that one RGB image we kept in a loop for one seconds, and in that one second we have 25 frames, and we have compressed each frame into av packet and we have written that into the mp4 file and for the se next second again one more rgb image will be there and then it will convert it into yuv and then again it is sent into frame and then and then from frame you encode it and then you return to the file the next 25 frames of the same image so for third second like that for every second 
we are sending 25 frames and each frame we are encoding and writing into the packet. So that's how actually the things are happening here. And finally, you just stop writing everything. You just write the tailor and then you close all the things. And that way you will be uh, freeing all the memory. So now let's look at the live what is happening. So let me do one thing. So I'll just remove all the contents first. So I'll just make a build here. CMake dot dot. So I have a CMake file here. So it will compile and it will check all the FFM versions available. And then I will do a make command. Okay, my executable is ready now. So this will automatically pick five four images and convert that. Okay. Yeah, and let's have one look look at this console output once. So basically, if you have seen here, so first few frames were ignored here. Yeah, first few, so it started from around 20, 17th frame. And then this is all the information I have been printing. But this is a very important information actually. Uh, yeah. So you can see I started here, images to MP4 it says using cpu capabilities output information so first few packets were ignored so from 23rd packet to 43 packet close to 25 frames so now this uh, all this information all these packets were written so it will be around 25 into 5 125 packets will be there and uh, so first few frames we ignored so 125 plus 17 total 142 so this is what happening so total i so this total is 125 frames so out of that i frames were 15 and p frames were 58 and b frames are 47 so this is how the data is compressed so we have we have compressed packets and i is 15 and p is 58 and you know p is predicted frame b is by direction and all these things total 25 frames so this is how we cut using using libx 264 encoder so this is how you convert an images to an mp4 file so let's quickly play the output once. So this is the final image actually. So let's play this using the VLC player once. You can see here this is the first image, second image, third image, fourth image, fifth image. So like that for each second an image is played. Uh, in the sense that each image is kept in a loop for one second. That loop has 25 frames. So this is how I converted an image to MP4. And then, yeah, let's quickly recap what we have done today. So we simply took a set of images, we converted each image into YUV, and we dumped that into AV frame. And then, and I'm sending, and and the same frame, I am sending it to multiple times until for 25 frames, I am sending same image, keeping it in a loop such that that particular image is played for a second and then each second has 25 frames so like that we defined our encoder telling that it has 25 frames in that av rational like that so the so the key things here you need to remember is like you need to define the uh <coughs> the encoder the, the encoder specs so these are the encoder specifications like if you go to ffmpeg initialization one has to definitely take care of these initializations and also you need to increment the frame pointer so by taking care of this you can convert an mp4 i mean any images into mp4 so in the next video we will go through how to convert if you capture any images from a camera and convert that raw image to a uv and from my uv to av frame and av frame to mp4 file so like that we will take first 20 seconds of data coming from the camera and convert that into an mp4 file and then we will see that with the help of instead of file we will be focusing from the camera so let's cover that in the next session and that will be a very interesting one hope everyone enjoyed today's session if you have any questions please reach to us uh, with the help of comments or you can reach to us with the help of our blog thank you have a good day take care bye bye